Hey everybody, this is Leighton Taylor from ecommercepulse.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to add an FAQ accordion to your Shopify store. And this is an example on one of my websites, Survival Knife Experts, and you can see when you click the different questions on the FAQ page, they slide open and then collapse when you click a different question. And this is really nice for the user because they don't have to scroll down the page and scroll through a bunch of questions that they're not interested in to try to find a question. They can just quickly scan through the questions and then quickly click it and collapse it again. This is actually pretty easy to add, so I'm just going to walk you through those steps. And you can also find the written version of this tutorial at ecommercepulse.com slash FAQ accordion. So I'm going to be using the post here on ecommerce pulse and I'm just going to walk through these steps. The first thing you need to do is download the zip file and the zip file contains just a couple of assets that we'll need to download. So you can just click this and it will download the file and then go ahead and open that zip file and un unzip it. All right. So here in my finder window, I see the three different files that were inside that zip file and I'll need those uh, in just a second. So let's view our tutorial here. All right, it says to upload the three files to the assets folder of your Shopify template editor. So to do that, you'll go to your Shopify dashboard, click on themes. And uh, as I always say, it's always a good idea to duplicate your theme before you work on it, just so, just so you have a backup in case anything goes wrong. Then you can go into your template editor and you need to click um, Scroll down to the Assets folder here and click Add a New Asset. Then we'll choose File, go into the folder we just downloaded, and we have to upload these one at a time. So first we'll upload minus.png. And then repeat the process for plus.png. And these are just the minus and plus buttons that show right here when you click um, and collapse an FAQ question. And then we have one more file, and this last one is a JavaScript file. <clears throat> All right, so we've uploaded those files. Step two, create a new page template in your Shopify template editor. To do this, you'll scroll up to the templates folder and click add a new template, and change this drop-down menu to page, and name it FAQ. You can name it whatever you want, but to keep things simple, I recommend just calling it FAQ. And step three, paste the following code at the very bottom of your new page template. So we'll start here and just scroll down and select all this code and copy and then paste. Make sure it's at the very bottom of the, uh, the new FAQ template. And save. One other thing that uh, we need to do that I'll add to the written version, it's not in there yet, is uh, look for this, this tag here that says page.content. That'll be in the page template somewhere. Depending on what theme you're using, I'm using the minimal theme, yours might look, uh, your page template might look slightly different as far as what code you see here that was there when you first made the template. But anyway, look for page content and then look for the div that surrounds that, that page content tag. So this div starts here and ends here. And then it says class equals span 12 details. And we need to add a word to the class and we're gonna call it FAQ page. So basically you just need to have a div that has the class FAQ page. If your div does not already have that class, then you can add it and I'll include that here in the written tutorial in case you need that. Okay, step four, create a new page called FAQ. So what we just created here was a page template. Now we need to save, and now we need to go to the pages uh, link over here in the sidebar and click add a page. And we'll call it FAQ and save. Now we also need to make sure that we select the template that we just created. So now we need to scroll down and under template, click or select page.faq. That's the template we just made and save. 
And finally, step five, paste the following code into the page. Before you paste, make sure you click this button here, show HTML, so that you're pasting into the code editor, not the visual editor. And inside the page editor here, it won't look like the accordion. It'll just look like regular text. That's all right, because it's just, uh, it'll show up correctly when you view it on the front end of a site and click save. And let's see if that worked. Okay, there we go. So now you can see that when you click each question, it collapses or it opens. And then when you click another one, it collapses. So our FAQ is working. Uh, notice that it's pretty wide. It fills up the full width of the page. Whereas on the other site that I showed you, it only filled up this space. Basically, it'll just, it'll expand to fill up whatever width is available. So, and this will vary depending on your theme. If your theme has a sidebar, it will fill up only the, the space except for the sidebar. Whereas if your page does not have a sidebar, it'll fill up the full width. If you need to change anything like the colors, you can do that. And that's step six in the written tutorial to um, actually the step six was to change the content. So what you can do here is you can change the answer to these questions. Um, now, the tricky thing is that if you start editing this text, you can actually mess up the code that we pasted in here. So I usually recommend as much as possible trying to edit it from within the code editor here. So you could change question one to something like how much does shipping cost? And then here you change the answer. We offer free shipping on all orders. Then click show editor again, save and refresh. And you can see that that content was updated. So let's say you wanted to change the colors of these uh, tabs. How would you do that? Well, if you right click on the active tab here or the active section in the accordion, it's black, you'll right click. And I'm using Google Chrome, the browser. Uh, I recommend that you use that browser if you want to try to edit the code or Firefox and you'll click inspect element. And this little code box will pop up down here and it should highlight uh, this div. It says div class equals accordion, accordion open. And then over here you see the background is this hex code and that's the color that you're using. If you wanted to change that, you would look for this line in the FAQ page template, accordion hyphen open. I'll show you where to find that. So we'll go back to the template editor and we're looking for, there it is, accordion hyphen open on line 31. And uh, the line might be different depending on which theme you're using. And then here you can change the background hex code and the text color. Um, if you don't know where to find or how to get a hex code for the color you want, let me show you a little trick that might help you do that. If you go to your theme settings, I'm going to right click and open in a new tab so I don't lose my template editor here. Usually your theme will have some sort of color selector, like right here I've got one. Um, usually a theme will have that and you can click on that and you can pick a color that you want. And then let's say you wanted a blue background for your FAQ. You just pick the color you want and then copy that code right there, the pound sign 3314cc. And then you can paste that here into uh, your page template. So now if we save and refresh, you'll see that the color has changed to blue. All right, so that's the, uh, that's the quick tutorial. And it's, as you can see, it's pretty easy. Uh, if you do have any questions or problems, feel free to leave a comment below. And I'd also love to create more video tutorials. If there's anything else that you'd like to add to your Shopify store, but you're not quite sure how, so you can leave that in a comment, uh, or you can shoot me an email at contact at ecommercepulse.com, and I'd be happy to help you out. So thanks and have a great day.